Today in the Daily Dose, Leif Erikson. Born in 970 AD Iceland, the second of three sons of famed Viking explorer Erik the Red, Leif Erikson grew up in Greenland after his father's expulsion from Iceland in 980 AD. Earning the nickname Leif the Lucky due to his sailing prowess and miraculous survival through perilous storms at sea, much of what we know about Ericsson's 1000 AD voyage to the New World comes from 13th century Icelandic sagas, including Eric's saga where he sailed to the Hebrides before siring his son Thorgils, the result of a love affair with the daughter of a local chief. After converting to Christianity during a lengthy stay in Norway, Ericsson was sent back to Greenland by King Olaf I with orders to spread the good word among Greenlanders. In the saga, Ericsson sailed off course on his return trip to Greenland, landing in North America at a place he called Vinland due to its fertile soil and abundance of wild grapes. A much more widely accepted account comes from the Gronlendiga saga, which recounts how Ericsson heard about North America from Icelandic trader Jarni Hörgjöfsson, who sighted North America 14 years before Ericsson's voyage, although Hörgjöfsson never set foot on the North American continent. The saga also claims that Ericsson made three landfalls, possibly Labrador and southern Newfoundland, before establishing his settlement at Vinland, which many believe to be the northernmost tip of Newfoundland. In a foreshadow of the violence to come, Ericsson, and on a later Norse expedition to Vinland by his brother Thorvald, both groups of explorers experienced bitter clashes with Native Americans, leading to Thorvald's death in battle that ended all Viking attempts to settle in North America. After his return to Greenland, never to set foot in North America again, his father resisted his son's attempts at Christian conversion, although Ericsson's mother, Johald, converted to the faith before building Greenland's first Christian church at Bradahade. Beginning in the late 1800s, many Scandinavian Americans began to celebrate Ericsson as the first European explorer to discover North America, while in 1925, President Calvin Coolidge proclaimed in a speech to a mostly Scandinavian audience in Minnesota that Ericsson had been the first European to discover the Americas. While in September of 1964, President Lyndon Baines Johnson declared October 9th to be Leif Erikson Day, making Leif Erikson an early maritime standout many centuries before the age of exploration. And there you have it, Leif Erikson, today in the Daily Dose. If you like learning something new every day, subscribe to the Daily Dose on YouTube or sign up for emails at dailydosenow.com.